Hey fams, welcome back to Positive Vibes. So today, as you can see, is a relaxed, comforting atmosphere. I wanted to give you guys a Mother's Day video today. And today, it is all about moms. Now, you may hear my kids in the background, um, especially Nyla, because she's up and it is 7.18 in the morning. But I wanted to go ahead and make this video because it is so important um, for us as moms to, especially in today's time, to really understand our role that we play in the family, that we are not just, you know, moms. We're not just, um, you know, chefs and like we wear so many different hats, right? And we're going to talk about what the Bible talks about mom, how, you know, what the Bible says about moms and how we ought to raise, rear our children and, you know, just the beauty of being a mother. It is, it is a gift. It is a privilege. It is a blessing. Being a mom is not just, you know, giving birth. There are different ways you can become a mom. You can foster a child. You can adopt a child. You can... You know, you can mentor a child. It's that's it's all about being a positive light, a positive role, role model, and you know, having those maternal instincts, which every woman I believe has a maternal instincts. You just gotta search with it. If you care, if you nourish, if you can love and be kind and teach, you have a maternal instinct. So let's get started. Welcome, Welcome you here if it's your first time joining us on Positive Vibes. We would love for you to subscribe to our channel and double tap that bell for new notifications so that you receive all of our videos when we do upload. Also, while you're at it, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and also share it with your friends, family, moms, women. This uh, video or this ministry, Positive Vibes, is all about empowering women to be who Christ wants them to be. Not who anybody else wants them to be, but be who all they can be in Christ. Alright, so if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Okay, so let's get into today's video. So today we're talking about moms. Mother's Day is right around the corner and we are dealing with a plethora of things, right? We're homeschooling, we're cooking more, the dishes are piling up. You know, kids are running crazy, they're screaming, they're fighting, your spouse is at home, working from home, and it's just, it's crazy, right? It's a lot that's going on. But we can also look at the positives. The positive is we're all home together. When in history has this ever happened, where we can all just sit together at the table, whether we're doing homeschooling or working together, whether we're eating together, whether we're talking and just discussing the, the everyday life situation that is happening outside of our homes or just discussing the blessings of God. It is so important that we not forget the, 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 um, the blessings that is coming out of us being home in, in, in quarantine, right? We're safe in our homes and everything like that, but at the same time, we're, we're building together. We're getting closer, right? It's not the fast pace every day, wake up, go to school, go to work, and we're not in that, that season right now. Right now, we're in a season, um, I believe, where God wants us to come together as a family and bring back the simple things, you know, eating dinner around the table together, praying together, Bible study together, talking, you know, about whatever, you know, cracking jokes on each other like we used to do, playing games, maybe once in a while, shutting up the phone, shutting up the television and play a game of Monopoly, a board game, right? Um, Scrabble, something, you know, that we don't get to do on an everyday basis because we're always running. And so I am grateful for this time, um, this season that we're in. Though it, for some people, you know, it's tumultuous, it's, it's crazy, you're losing family members, you're losing friends, and all these crazy things. I mean, my dad was sick, and, and thank God he's doing better now, but our family, my, not my immediate family, but my extended family was hit, 
you know, with the virus. And I lost an uncle and, you know, my best friend was near death. And so God completely healed her and healed, you know, a lot of people that is close to me and dear to me. And so, you know, we're all being affected some way or some form by this virus. But I really just want to look at the positive light, right? The positive light is that we're still waking up and we're still in the land of the living and God has given us grace every single day to to trust Him and to be together and to, you know, to enjoy the, the big things that we think is little, like breathing, you know, that's big. If you wake up this morning, it's a big deal, right? So moms, I just want to encourage you today that I know that it's difficult. I know that it's hard. I know sometimes you're just like pulling your hair out your head and you're screaming and you're losing your temper. I've been there. I go through it on a daily basis. <laughs> I go through it on a daily basis where I'm just like, get your work done. Do your work. You know, why are you waiting to get this done? Just don't procrastinate it. Don't procrastinate. Do it. Get it done. You know, my daughter has taken on this task of learning how to bake and cooking and she's doing a fabulous job at it um but we're working on cleaning up cleaning up after yourself right so that drives me nuts because i'm a person that cleans as i cook as i go and so i am learning how to have grace i am learning how to say okay you know what so what she's cooking and she's making dirty dishes and she's not cleaning up right away it's okay it's all right the beauty in that is she's learning how to cook. She is enjoying this, this part of her creativity that she's never had the opportunity to explore because she was so busy with school and gymnastics and competitions and all that. And so now she's home and she's cooking and she's enjoying it. Give her grace, right? So as moms, we can get caught up in the craziness of everything that is happening, right? And so... Um, I really just want to focus on, you know, what does it mean to be a mom? I know for me, what it means to be a mom is you're raising the next generation. Um, you know, you're raising children that are of moral, good, moral, you know, complex. You're raising children that are responsible, that are respectable, that you know, are honorable. You're raising children that have love and compassion and that are kind and that are giving and, you know, that are, that have obedience. You're, it's, and it's not an easy job. I think that being a parent on a whole is the hardest job on the planet. <laughs> like, it's, because you wear so many different hats and you, you, you deal with so many different issues. I mean, we're chefs, we're counselors, we're teachers, we're nurses, we're doctors, we're surgeons sometimes. You know, we're, we're, we're friends. Sometimes it seems like we're the enemy. Um, you know, it's so many different hats that we wear. And I know as a mom, I want to instill in my children the values that God um, has in his word. And also for the practical world, I want to instill in them you know, more moral. I want morals, good morals. I want to instill in them, you know, to love people no matter, you know, their walks of life, to, to, to speak and to understand and to listen um, to people. I want my children to um, have the ability to care. I want my children to have the ability to be kind. You know, I want for when they step out of our home, the things that we're teaching them on at home, I want for them to carry that outside of our home so that you know they can represent Christ and they represent our home as well and represent themselves and so I know that being a mom is not easy and I think Mother's Day is every day because we need to celebrate moms we really do we really need to celebrate moms um, I think at times um, you know it can be overwhelming for for moms because especially if you are a stay-at-home mom or a stay-at-home working mom or if you are working outside of the home and coming home and having to do so many different things um you know it's it's difficult it's hard but i just want to encourage you to give yourself grace because god gives us grace right every single day 
His amazing grace is renewed unto us. And um, we have to give ourselves grace. Um, I want to I go to Proverbs. Proverbs 31 verse 25 says, She is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. You know, God has given us strength and dignity to deal with whatever comes as our mom. He has given us the innate ability to understand our children on a level that no one else can understand. And I don't know if it's because we carried them for nine months, so we, we have that connection with them where we know their cries, we know... You know, when something is wrong, we know when, when they're happy, we know when they're sad, we know when, you know, they feel angry, we know when they feel hurt. We know so much about our children, um, you know, and so God gives us that strength and he gives us the dignity to, to deal with any situation. And, 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 and the Bible says that she can laugh at the days to come. I mean, listen, if you cannot laugh at certain things that happen, I don't... I, it's crazy. You have to be able to laugh, okay? Because sometimes my kids, um, especially my daughter, Michaela, she is very much upbeat. Lots of energy, lots of movement. And sometimes I laugh at her. <laughs> and not laugh at her in a bad sense. She literally makes me laugh. When she walks into walls, when she falls down the steps. I mean, I should be the one talking. I literally fell down the steps this morning. <laughs> You guys, I fell down the steps. I'm like, my back hurts. My neck is hurting right now. Crazy, right? But she gets that. I feel like she gets that from me. We walk into walls, you know, and, and things like that. She could just be doing like a cartwheel and boom, hit her leg on a, on a dresser or a console table or something. Now, it's not anywhere in her direct way, but it just happens, right? And so I, she makes me laugh all the time. And so, you know, if you, you can't laugh sometimes at your children or with your children or have them laugh at you or whatever the case may be, listen, life is nothing if you cannot have laughter. Laugh, laughter is the best medicine. I feel like when you can laugh, your body gets happy, your brain gets happy, and your atmosphere gets happy, right? So we are, God has given us the strength and the dignity and and to, to be the best moms that we possibly can be. Proverbs 31, 26 says, She opens her mouth with wisdom and the teaching of kindness is on her tongue. Wow. We are the first line of defense for our children when it comes to teaching moral um, values. We are the first line of defense for our children when it comes to nurturing them and educating them. It starts at home. It doesn't start in school. It doesn't start with the teachers. It doesn't start with the children's church teachers. It, it doesn't start outside the home. It starts inside our home. And teaching our children, um, you know, is very important, right? Because whatever they learn on the inside they're going to go out and do it on the outside, in the outside world. And so sometimes I look at children and I'm just like, well, you know, they're acting a certain way. Well, what are they doing at home? What are they learning at home? Because our kids learn from us. You know, the first 12 years are the most impressive years of a child's life. They learn everything from us. They develop everything from in the home. Our our lifestyle, what we believe, what we do, what we think, who we are, we are a product of the household that we come out of. So I, who we are today is a direct product of who raised us, right? And so we have to understand how important it is for us as parents, but for us as moms, to nurture and to teach our children the right way, the correct way. The Bible said that to raise your children, right? Raise your children the way that they should go. And when they get older, they will not turn away from it. It is so important for us to raise our children on biblical principles. 
because, I, and I know that I may get flack for this, but for me, raising my children the way that God wants me to raise my children is the only way for me to raise my children. Because if I raise them on anything else, it will, it will, it just won't work. It just won't work. And for me, I want my children to be evidence of of God's grace, evidence of God's mercy, evidence of God's understanding and wisdom and love and compassion and kindness and character. I want them to have the heart of God because it's important for them to be able to go out in the world and bring what they have learned on the inside of our home to the outside world so that they can be caring, they can be compassionate, they can be understanding, they can be giving. They can be kind, you know, they can show love. It's very important. And so I just want to encourage you moms to, you know, to teach your children. Teach them from their young. You know, discipline them from their young. Um, don't let the world, don't let the world system be the teacher for your children because they will never teach them the way that they are supposed to be taught. Um, I remember growing up as a child, my mom, you know, was a single mom. My, my mom raised four children, um, by herself with the grace of God. And, you know, I can remember my mom working constantly, but at the same time, we never went without those values. We never went without those life lessons. We... We never went without those wisdom being poured into us. You know, I, I remember as an eight-year-old little girl, my mother teaching me the, the, birds, the birds and the bees, you know, about sex and about boys and all these things. At eight years old, I remember her teaching me those things. And because of those teachings that I received earlier on in my childhood, I was able to keep myself with the grace of God. It wasn't easy. But I was able to keep myself as a virgin until I got married to my husband. My husband was is my only um, partner. And so I remember those teachings. And so because of those teachings that I received earlier on in my childhood, I now take that and I teach that to my kids. I taught my kids about sex, about holiness, about purity, about saving themselves you know, about babies and everything, where babies come from. I don't tell them that the snorks bring babies. No, I tell them, like, you have babies from being intimate, from having intercourse with a partner, with your husband, you know. And I tell them those things, and I told them that since they were seven years old. It's important because I don't want the school to tell them, and I don't want the, their friends to tell them. I want them to hear it from my mouth, um, the truth of the matter. Because I want for when they go out to school and the school is telling them, you know, it's okay to have sex, just protect yourself with a condom. In our household, it's not okay to have sex before marriage. It is not okay. It is okay to, you know, have the feelings and all those things. But according to the word of God, sex is safe for when you are married, right? And so that's what we teach our children. Other people may have different views on it, and that's okay. Everybody has an opinion, and that's okay. But for us, for, for me and my household, we will serve the Lord in every possible way. <clears throat> so, you know, I just, I just wanted to say that because it's so important for us to teach our kids the way that they should go. So when they get older, they will not depart. Also, I want to, you know, tell moms, like, Give yourself some grace. We're in a quarantine. It's a lot going on. Yes, you're teaching. Yes, you're cooking. Yes, you're cleaning. You're doing laundry. You're doing all these things. Take a break. It's okay to rest. It's okay to take a break. It's okay to, to come down and take a minute to just say, you know what? I need a break. Give me a moment. Let me get myself together, and then I'll deal with whatever you need me to deal with. It's okay. I find myself sometimes needing to go into my bedroom or even just be on my, you know, recliner over in the corner and, and just taking a break and breathing and calming down. It's okay to tell the kids, 
give mommy a moment. It's okay to tell the spouse, give me just a second to come down. It's okay to take a break. Do not be guilty because you are taking a break. We need a break. Every single day, you need to take a moment to just come down. I am learning how to breathe more. I am learning to, if the dishes doesn't get washed right away, it's all right. If the laundry doesn't get done right away, it's going to pile up, but it's okay. You know, if I want to sit down and watch a Hallmark Christmas movie, I'm going to do that. If I want to sit down and focus on, you know, peace, I'm going to do that. If I want to sit down and listen to, you know, my Bible app, I am going to do that because I am going to give myself grace and I am going to take a break. We need to do that and we need to give ourselves that. And we need to remember that Rome wasn't built in a day. You can't do everything in one day. Okay, the kids doesn't get all their work done. That's all right. Tomorrow is another day, right? It's, it's okay. Don't stress yourself out. Don't overwhelm yourself by you know, trying to get everything done in one day. It, it doesn't give yourself grace. That is literally my new motto for life. Giving myself grace. All right? So I just want to encourage you this Mother's Day. Take a break. Self-care. I am learning how to do that. I am learning how to just sit back, relax, Get, do my nails, do my toes, <laughs> do my hair, you know, even just taking a bubble bath and, and just relaxing with candles or with, you know, some soothing, beautiful music. I'm learning how to give myself facials or, you know, whatever the case may be, just take a break, self-care, because if you don't take a break for yourself, you absolutely cannot give anything to your family. You can't because if you're tired and if you're run down and if you're frustrated and if you're going crazy and if you're yelling at everybody and as we all do, right, what is that teaching our children that in the midst of frustration it's okay to be chaotic? No. When you feel frustrated, step back, evaluate the situation, and take a break. So that is my Mother's Day gift to you guys. Take a break. Calm down. It's okay. Life still goes on. The summertime is coming. The blooms are coming out. Garden, if, if that's something that you need to do. I am a loving gardening. I didn't even know that I was an avid gar gardener. Like, I am, I'm really, I have all my rose bushes. I have my fruits. I have my, my vegetables. Like, I am ready to get out in the dirt and get gardening, right? And so, take a break. Don't overwhelm yourself. Don't stress yourself out. It's going to be okay. This too shall pass. The kids will go back to school. <laughs> okay? And it, it, everything is going to be okay. So I just want to encourage you to take a break. Give yourself grace. God's got us. He is in the midst of us. And it's all right. It's okay. All right? So, if you guys have enjoyed this message, I am here in my PJs. Girl, I don't even care. I just, today, I was just like, I'm coming to all my mamas, and I want to wear my PJs, and I want to be comfortable. It's real life. It's realistic. Not every day you're going to get up and beautify yourself with makeup and all these things. Some days, it's okay to just look presentable and be in your PJs and be in your robe and just okay and today is one of those days and I really just wanted to come on here and show you real life does exist um, it's okay for me to do a video in my PJs I'm a mom I'm a working mom I'm doing everything and it's okay I am relaxed I am at peace and I just want you to relax be in your PJs sometimes you may be in your PJs all day it's okay that's all right Breathe. Just breathe. All right? So, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I do a lot of 
faith motivation, I do a lot of inspirational videos, I do DIYs, decor, cleaning videos, um, you know, shop with me, thrift, thrifting videos, I do it all. I am a lifestyle uh, blogger and I am also on Instagram at Regal Designs by Shoshana, you can visit me there. And if you have any questions at all pertaining to this topic or anything, go ahead and leave your questions down in the, in the comment se section and I will definitely get back to you with answers the best way that I possibly can. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel and also hit that bell for new notifications. Double tap it so you receive all my videos, not notifications. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, and share. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next Positive Vibes. I hope you guys are staying home, being safe, and making memories. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.